Hello guys, Mr. Orange here and welcome back to your brand new video of City Skylines Xbox One Edition. So, welcome back in our beautiful big city of Orangewood because in this video guys, what we're actually going to do is actually check on in a brand new update. They actually have released on the Xbox One on City Skylines and you're right now thinking... You might not think yourself what am I talking about pretty much what I'm you know what I'm actually gonna do in this video if you didn't know they actually have released a brand new update on the Xbox one on city skylines and what they pretty much have done is pretty much changed the interface how it looked like and pretty much have changed the game in general like you know how it looks like the interface and most of all a lot of things so what are we actually gonna do in this video guys is pretty much look around our city what have they pretty much done and pretty much how it looks like and for the most part just look around what have they pretty much done on this update so for the most part guys let's actually get right this video and actually check on this new update but before we actually do anything, let me let me actually show you some things that have pretty much have changed. And if you cannot see by the interface right here, they actually have changed a little bit of the interface. If you cannot see, it looks a little bit more better than before. It looks a little bit more friendlier for like you know for like the Xbox One users because because if you didn't remember the old interface, it looked a little bit bland. It didn't look like a little bit friendlier for like new years new users on you know on City Skylines and it actually looks a little bit better if you don't if you don't know and you know it looks pretty amazing so let me actually put the game in fast forward time because I actually want to look around here in our city what have they pretty much have have pretty much changed so uh for the most part if you cannot see they actually have the, like changed up a little bit of the districts right here because if you didn't remember down like if you cannot see it says Haley Square and like down there it has some oh they actually have changed up even the notifications I never really thought about how much garbage has piled up. Okay, that's pretty weird. But if you cannot see, if you didn't remember, we actually had like a lot of policies like you know piled up right here. But if you if you if you don't know what I'm actually talking about right here, let me actually put the game right here and let me actually press th this button right here. If you cannot see, there's like some policies right here. If you cannot see, you can cycle around here, recycling and some smoke detect smoke detectors. And if I actually if, if I actually turn on this, pretty much you know if I turn off this right here. If you cannot see it disappears, so I think it looks a little bit better because if you didn't remember before, there was like a lot of districts, like just you know, like you know, down in the name right there. But it, I, you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you know, pretty much like that. So if you cannot see, I think they have changed up a little bit of the graphics, like it looks a little bit more better and like smoother. And I, I don't know about you guys out there, but the game looks a little bit more responsive than before because if you didn't remember the old, you know, the old City Skylines, it actually like. Feel, felt a little bit choppy, then it doesn't feel like responsive and just a little bit slow. But now, if you cannot see, it actually feels a little bit better in my hands and just like moves very quickly. Like, it feels like 30 FPS, 40 FPS. I don't know about you guys out there, but it actually is much smoother. And let me actually go here in first person mode and show you what I'm actually gonna talk what I'm talking about. If you cannot see, the cars are actually moving much faster and actually much like better because if you didn't remember. The previous version of City Skylines, they actually, like, the cars were, like, kind of, like, choppy, they didn't, like, respond, like, not response, but, like, the, like, the, the game didn't feel like 60, like, 30 or 40 FPS while we actually zoomed in the cars. If you cannot see, the game looks much better than before. I don't know about you guys out there, but this looks much better than before. This looks much better. I don't know about you guys out there, but this update is actually pretty amazing. And I think they actually have changed up a little bit of the graphics right here, because if you cannot see... There's like these, this like dirt right here that's like kind of on the edge of this hill right here. It looks a little bit like more sharper than before. That looks actually pretty cool. And I think they actually have changed up uh, one more thing. I think they added a new, I think they added a new road into, into the update. Let me see, what is this road right here? Uh, there we go. So what is this road all about? So it's a four lane road with a bus lane. That's pretty interesting. So let me see. Let me actually, let me see how it pretty much looks like first. So let me actually just place a random road. Let's say I'm actually gonna place it like right here. For some reason, it's not letting me place it. Oh, oh, oh come on! It, it's still at the upgrade tool. Okay, I don't want I don't want to upgrade any roads. But let me actually show you what I'm talking about. So let me just place a. Let's say I'm just I'm just gonna place a random road road right here. So if you cannot see, guys, there's actually like a. If you cannot see, buses and taxis can only use this red lane. If you cannot see, there's like a red lane right here, and like uh, you know, like public transport, like you know, like cars, whatever, like that. I can actually use this, you know, this this normal road right here. But if you cannot see the road, like the you know, the red one, that means you know only buses and taxis can actually drive on it. So that's actually pretty amazing. They actually have have added that in because what I thought about doing is actually maybe placing it somewhere around our city because if you cannot see there's like a lot of buses piled up right here and most of all a lot of cars so it would be kind of a good idea if we actually place it somewhere around here because you know a lot of buses drive around here and most of all they actually cause a lot of traffic here right here if you cannot see and there's a lot of people waiting here for a bus so it would be kind of a good idea to maybe place 
like this, how, what is it called again? I think it's called a four-lane road with actually bus lanes. So that's actually pretty amazing. And I think they have ch changed up a little bit of the interface a little bit here. So yeah, if you cannot see, there's like this this t Twitter or whatever like that, whatever it's called. The city provides smoke detectors, okay, whatever like that. Okay, we have a lot of abandoned buildings. Let me just destroy those because they don't actually look that, you know, that pretty. So let me just destroy those abandoned buildings. And I think there's a lot of people complaining about noise pollution. But, you know, before we actually do nothing, you know, before we're actually going to do something else than, you know, just look around this update. I actually want to look around if they actually didn't change nothing else here. Uh, let's see. Maybe the policies. Yeah, if you cannot see, they actually changed up even the, the interface on the policies. It looks a little bit more better than before. That's actually pretty cool. So that's you know that's not a good a good thing. Uh, did I actually add a new? Did I actually add new parks? Because it would be amazing if, if they actually added new parks in this game. No, it doesn't look like it. Nope, doesn't look like any new parks for right now. Let me see. Uh, no, for 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 some reason. Oh, can we actually place? Oh, what is this? Can we actually place another unique building? Oh, it doesn't look like we. No, building already exists. Okay, yeah, I thought like we could place another one of those like you know. Grand Library, because we already have one, I think we have already one, like, somewhere around our city, I don't know where is it, but I thought we can actually maybe place another one and, like, place a lot of them, but, okay. But, okay, uh, for the most part, they actually have changed a lot of things. They actually added new schools, doesn't look like it. Uh, police stations? No. Any new fire stations? No. And any clinics, something like that, crematoriums? No. For the most part, everything's you know everything's still the same. But for the most part, what they actually have done is pretty much changed up a little bit of the interface, how it looks like, and just the game feels a little, bit, a little bit more smoother, or how to say like a little bit more better than before. I don't know about you guys out there, but it looks a little bit better. But so for the most part, this is pretty much the update what I'm talking about. You know, it looks a little bit more better, and just I don't know, it looks it looks much better than before. So. We actually pretty much have checked out pretty much everything on this update, and I think, actually, did we actually r literally check out everything on this update? I'm not sure. Actually, did we actually check out the e economy? No, we didn't. I think they actually changed out the little bit of the... I think they actually changed the, the interface right here. That's pretty interesting. That looks a little bit better than before. But for the most part, I think they actually... Okay, that's a lot of traffic right here. Okay, I really have to do something about that. That's kind of bad right here, so we have to maybe do something about that. But for the most part, this actually looks pretty amazing. So, uh, what I thought about doing here... Okay, <laughs> that's kind of amazing. Congratulations to us, Mayor. Just announced that our city... Our, that our city beautiful... Okay, I don't know about that. But okay, uh, how's our city doing? Uh, for, sm for the most part, I think, you know, traffic is still piling up right here. But I hope it doesn't get worse, because that would be kind of bad. But okay, um... Let's see... Actually, can we actually... Did I actually add any new roads? Oh, there you go. There's another road right here. Oh, it's like the same one, but with like six lanes. Okay, that's actually pretty interesting. I really maybe need to get started with those like new roads right here. I'm maybe gonna do that in some video. I don't know when, but you know, we shall see. There you go. Let's just destroy that. But I don't know about you guys out there, but this city looks much be beautiful with like those new graphics. And it looks like much better than before. Let me see. Let's actually go to, like, let's say I'm actually go, gonna go to the city right here. Let me see how does that look like. Yeah, this looks actually much cooler. Like, it looks so, it looks so good and, like, much more responsive and smoother. I'm actually pretty happy about that, that actually, you know, City Skylines or Paradox, whatever the company named, the, the you know, the people who made this game or the people who actually made this update. I, I all wanted to say to those people, a pretty good job, like, really, it... And actually it has done, you know, they didn't do a lot of stuff, but I really like ha what have they pretty much done in this, you know, in this update. You know, it's a small little update, but still they have done a lot of stuff. And most of all, it looks, the game looks a little bit more better and a little bit more responsive than before. So let me just destroy that abandoned building and let's see. Uh, so population is still growing, but it looks like people want more, I think people want more industrial buildings or office buildings. But where should we actually maybe place some more office buildings? Because, uh... I think there's not a lot of space to actually maybe place more office buildings. We could maybe place some right here. It would be kind of a good idea. It would be kind of a good idea. So what we can do, let me actually expand this district a little bit. Because if you want to actually place some more office buildings, first we actually have to expand our district a little bit before we do all that stuff. Let me actually take out a small little thing right here. And let me just make this a little bit more bigger and a little bit better than before. So let's just expand this a little bit. 
There you go. Nice and easy. Okay, that doesn't look that great, but still. It's gonna it's gonna work out. I hope. There you go. Nice and easy. Uh, so how does that look like? Okay, that doesn't look that great, but hang on. Let me just try to fix this. I think that's gonna look much better. There we go. Nice and easy. There we go. Go. I think I think that looks a little bit better. There you go. So that looks a little bit better. And what I'm actually going to do is actually let me put some more office buildings, whatever like that. So let me just plop here some office buildings and a little bit here and a little bit of here. Perfect. So now we're going to have some more jobs building around in this area. And most of all, a lot of stuff is going to happen. So uh, did it actually actually didn't actually have they actually changed the, the animation, how they actually built those houses? Okay, they still look the same. But I think they actually changed, you know, every, you know, I already said it like five times, but it actually changed up the graphics a little bit. And that's what I really like about this update. I actually have changed up the game a little bit and just it looks much better than before. But okay, uh, City's doing not bad. It could be better, but it, you know, it's doing good. It's not amazing, but good. So how's Northwich doing? Okay, oh my god. That's complaining about a lot of garbage. We really have to do something about that because otherwise that would be kind of a bad thing that's gonna happen in Northwich. So, Northwich, whatever it's called. Uh, do we actually have any garbage trucks coming in? There we go. So, it looks like there's some garbage, you know, garbage, garbage trucks coming in. But we could maybe place some more incineration plants or incineration plants, whatever it's called. Uh, let's see. Let me actually go here to the garbage section right here and let me actually just place some more. You know, let's. Why not? Let's just place some more because, you know. Would be kind of a good idea. So let me just place two of those in incineration plants. There you go. Perfect. But okay. Oh, okay, I actually forgot about something here. Let me just let me just give them some water. Because that would be kind of a bad if they don't have any water. You know, they kind of gonna their buildings are gonna be kind of, you know. You know, their buildings are, are gonna be pretty dry, just saying. Let me just give them some water because otherwise they're gonna complain, like always. So let me just do this. Just a nice little quick job right here. Actually, let's just try to do something like this. There you go. Perfect. And let me just do this right here and do this. There you go. So that looks not bad. So let me just put the game in fast forward time. So, uh, for the most part, it looks like people want more commercial buildings. I actually even have changed up a little bit of the like the, the zones right here. I cannot see like all the way down here in the corner right here when I'm actually, you know, somehow pointing. I actually have changed up that. So that's actually pretty interesting to see. Um... So it looks like people want more commercial buildings. We could maybe place some more, but where? That's kind of a good question. Where should we actually place some more commercial buildings? We could maybe place some here, but I'm not going to destroy any buildings right here. So we need to find a good spot for it. We could maybe place some more uh, thingy right here, more entertainment entertainment buildings. So let's say I'm actually going to expand this district a little bit more, because why not? You know, we're just going to make this a little bit bigger and a little bit better, like always. There you go, nice and easy. I hope that doesn't. I hope it doesn't look that ugly. L let me just make this a little bit more. Let me just trim it a little bit. There you go, nice and easy, and there you go. So uh, let's actually maybe play some more. Let's say I'm actually gonna play some more high density commercial buildings, or actually more, you know, very big, you know, entertainment buildings, whatever like that. There you go. I see some. In the I know. I see, I see some pretty interesting buildings right here. What is this? This is the play all you want arcade. Okay, pretty interesting. So Taylor Evans, my dom domestic. Okay, I don't know what. what okay, that was pretty weird, but okay. Um, City's doing pretty good. Uh, for the most part, not, you know everything's doing fine, like always. Uh, looks like why is nobody building here? For some reason, nobody's building here. Okay, that's pretty weird. Okay, but it looks like people are still building here, so that's kind of a good thing to see. But okay, uh, for the most part, can we actually destroy this power line right here? Because that's actually kind of annoying, not lying. Uh, can we actually do that? Let me just go here on this section right here. Um, uh, I don't know. We can't. For some reason, we can't do that. So I'm. I'm oh, there we go. We can actually do that. So let me just destroy this this power line right here. That has, that actually connects to Nato District and Umber Heights and pretty much our general whole city. Yeah, there you go. So there's still. A, oh, there we go. Um. Oh, do I have any power? Why do we have don't? Why do we actually? Why? Like you have power right here. I don't know why they're complaining about power. Uh, um, like what? How? Like you have power right here. Okay, I'm just gonna give them a power line because for some reason they're still complaining about power. So let me just 
give them some power because for some reason they're, s they're complaining about it. There you go. Now you got your power back. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of people complaining about power. Okay. There you go. Stop complaining. But okay. Um, what can we do? We Let me actually check on water and sewage for right now. Uh, water and sewage is actually... You know, water and sewage is actually doing pretty good for the most part. Not bad, not bad. So, we have, we have a lot of abandoned buildings. And most of all, our city is actually doing pretty bad, not lying. There's a lot of people complaining about a lot of things. Most of all, noise pollution and dead bodies and whatever like that. Uh, but I hope it doesn't get worse, because that would be kind of a bad thing. So, everything's doing not bad. You know, could be better, but, you know, everything's doing fine. Uh, how is our power doing? I'm actually kind of curious. How are, is our power doing? Uh, that's doing not bad. That's actually doing pretty good. We, you know, we could maybe place another, you know, nuclear power plant or where, whatever it's called. But for right now, we're actually pretty good on that because, you know, I think we have enough power for right now. But okay, um, okay, there's a lot of people complaining about noise pollution here. What we can do, the only option that I, we, what we can do is actually maybe destroy all these, like, buildings right here with, like, people living in them. Or actually, I'm just gonna leave them. Like, I don't know, should I actually do this? Like, it would be kind of a good idea, good idea. So let me just destroy all these buildings. Not e not not every building, but just, like, some of them. So there you go. You can just move out because I don't know why you're still going to play about, you know, noise pollution. But okay. You can just move out. You know, there you go. I'm just going to destroy your house. <laughs> okay, I'm just the best mayor. I'm just destroying destroying houses when people can play about something. Okay, I'm just the best mayor. 2017. Oh, my God. But okay. Um... But what I'm actually gonna do, guys, is gonna end off this video right here because we, if, we, you know, we pretty much have checked out this update pretty much and what they pretty much have changed. They actually, most of all, have changed, you know, a little bit of stuff, but most of all, the city looks great and for the most part, everything's doing fine. So, what I'm actually gonna do, guys, is gonna end off this video right here with a beautiful view of our city. Wow, that actually looks pretty beautiful at night, too. At night, what I'm talking about, you know. Apologies for my bad English. So let me just have a beautiful view of our city. Actually, let's actually go. Let's actually go a little bit towards New Orange right here. And for the most part, guys, what I'm actually gonna do is actually end off this video here. But a big thank you to the, actually the the producers of this game or Paradox or City Skylands, you know, you know, developers, whatever like that. Thank you for actually giving this opportunity. You know, this opportunity to actually give this update, this game a update because for a long time ago we actually didn't have an update on this game, but finally they actually have updated the game and looks a little bit, bit much better than before and it looks a little bit more friendlier for like you know Xbox One users and whatever like that PS4 users but for the most part guys what I'm actually gonna do guys is gonna end off this video right here so make sure to subscribe and like it would be amazing if you could do that that would be pretty amazing of you and yeah guys see you in the next video bye